This conference will now be recorded. Okay, uh, let's start. I uh, hope it's audible to everyone. <coughs> right. Okay, so in the last class, uh, we have started with what uh, structures. We understood how to declare the structure. Okay, and uh, we have seen another syntax for creating a structure based on existing structure. And we have seen how to copy the data between two similar structures and dissimilar structures. We understood the concept of what a move and what move corresponding and the limitations of using what move corresponding okay right so now let us see in continuation to that let us see they are all very simple concepts nested structures okay nested structures so just like we have nested if nested if means what if within the if block okay similarly nested structure means a structure declared inside another structure okay that is the meaning of what nested structure so let's see how to declare the nested structure one second One second, please. Uh, just hold on. One second, please. Yeah, so I'll give the program name. Z645 program 14. Type of program is executable program. I'll save it in what local object. Right. So what is our requirement? Uh, we need to declare what? Uh, nested structure. Structure within the structure. Okay. So structure within the structure. So I'll say, how do we create a structure? Data. Okay. Begin of. Okay. Data. Begin of. Uh, let me give the structure name as something EMP. Okay. Data. Begin of EMP. And I'll declare some fields here. Employee number type I. Then another field employee number of 20 type C. Okay. So within this EMP structure, okay, within this EMP structure, let me declare another structure. So I'll say begin of what department. Okay. So without closing the EMP structure, I am trying to declare what one more structure. Begin of department. I'll declare one more field department number type I then department name of something 20 type c then i'll close the department structure end of what department okay then after closing this inner structure 
okay after closing the inner structure let me declare one more field employee designation of 20 type c then close the main structure end of what emp so this department is nothing but what inner structure inner structure because i am declaring this department structure within another structure okay done so when i save it let me check the syntax errors control f2 yeah i don't have any syntax errors okay so how much memory is allocated here yesterday we have seen that uh, for structures the memory allocation is what continuous means all the fields are stored one after the other so if you assume that this is the memory allocation okay this is a memory allocation what is the first structure i declared here one second yeah what is the first field here employee number type i so in abap interior occupies what four bytes so assume that if you assume starting address is 100 starting address location is 100 so 100 to 104 would be the employee number okay 100 to 104 would be employee number okay then employee name of 20 type c each character occupies one byte 1 into 20 is what 20 bytes so this is employee name employee name so 104 to how many bytes 20 bytes so 104 to 124 would be what employee name then we are declaring one inner structure we are starting the declaration of an inner structure what is that inner structure your department so assume that this is a memory allocated for your inner structure okay something like this and my inner structure contains how many fields two fields department number and what department name so assume that this is department number and this is department name okay so this is a overall memory allocated for your inner structure what is the inner structure here department is a inner structure okay so what is this a department number type i again interior i indicates what here interior so interior occupies what four bytes so 124 to what 124 to 128 would be what department number okay 124 to 128 would be department number then again department name of 20 type c 20 bytes so 128 to 148 you assume what department name done then we are closing the inner structure and as part of outer structure i declared one more field what is that employee designation of 20 type c okay which is what character of 20 so again another 20 bytes of memory would be allocated for the employee designation so assume 148 to what 168 is a memory allocated for what employee designation okay so these two okay department number and department name are part of what department structure and employee designation employee name they are part of what employee structure okay so this is the overall memory allocated for your the outer structure what is that employee now the important thing here is how do we access this field so inner structure means a structure within the a structure declared inside another structure so now let me try to store some data and already we have seen yesterday once a structure is declared the structure fields will be initialized to our default values employee number is integer so integer by default contains zero employee name is what character so it will contain what space department number again zero department name is character again not space employee designation also what character it contains what space these are the current default values now let me assign some data how do we access the structure fields structure name hyphen structure field so i'll say emp hyphen employee number this is structure name hyphen structure field emp hyphen employee number equal to i'll give some value what some value one then emp hyphen what is the next field here emp hyphen employee name equal to i'll say something raju something okay so emp hyphen employee name equal to raju and then i want to set the value for what department number okay department number is the field of which structure department structure 
and department structure is declared inside what emp structure so suppose okay when i do syntax check when i do syntax check as of now i don't have any errors now i'll try to say emp hyphen department number equal to some value what 10 i'm trying to assign department number value as what 10 let's see whether this is valid or not when i do syntax check yeah i got an error here i got the syntax error what is the error here the data object emp has no component called as department number okay whatever we declare inside the structure they're nothing but what fields fields are nothing but what components so it is saying that the data object emp has no component called as department number but there is a component called as what department so department number field is not the direct field of department it is part of sorry department number is not the direct field of what emp it is a field of department and department is declared inside what emp so if i try to say like this it is giving me what syntax error so so this is giving me what so for your reference i'm just giving a comment here syntax error so how do we access that emp hyphen department hyphen department number equal to some value 10 so the main focus here is how do we access the inner structure fields how do we access outer structure hyphen inner structure hyphen field name similarly what is the other one department name so i'll say department name equal to something sales then what is the other field here employee designation which is a direct field of what emp so i'll say emp f an employee designation equal to something manager make clear so this emp this emp is the outer structure department is what inner structure okay done now let me just print it right i'll say emp f an employee number or let me give some text kind of thing employee number done then emp f an employee number then i'll say employee name emp hyphen employee name then what else department number department number i'll say emp hyphen department hyphen department number then department name what is that emp hyphen department hyphen department name then employee what designation i'll say designation what is this emp hyphen what is the field employee designation okay so save it check no syntax error activate when i execute this yeah i got the data so i got all the fields one after the other i want to print them in a new line so what you have to do just say what slash right so i'll just say slash here done so save it check for the syntax error done i got the data it is not properly aligned okay i want to do the proper alignment proper alignment so what i'll do is here uh, for each of this uh, label for each of this uh, text i will reserve some width how do we reserve the width as part of the right statement i'll say what 20 okay what is the meaning of that i am reserving some 20 spaces for this particular string that is for this particular uh, string variable okay here also i'll give what same 20 so that everything will have what 20 spaces so that you'll get it proper align 20 done here also i'll say 20 done so let me check it now right so i got something like this okay here also done so i got employee number department number and these are characters so already we know in abap numeric data types are what right justified that's why in this space i am getting this value in the right hand side if you take these characters we know that characters by default are what left justified so this left justified and this is right justified done so the main focus here is how do we declare the inner structure structure within the structure okay and how do we access the inner structure fields outer structure hyphen inner structure hyphen field name okay this is important
that's all it's a very simple thing okay then any questions in this part any questions right okay so this is uh, inner uh, structure now let me go for including structures inside what other structures including structures inside other structures. yeah any questions anyone right so including structures inside other structures done so let me do it in the next program I'll go back once again I'll save it in your folder Done. So, what is the requirement now? Including structure inside what? Other structures. Type of program as usual, executable program. Done. Okay. So, here I'll say data begin of. Okay. Data begin of department. I'll declare some fields. Department number type I. And I'll declare another field department name of 20 type c i'll close the department okay so this is the department structure i declared so what happens here on behalf of this structure declaration some memory will be allocated so assume that this is a department structure which has got what two fields department number and this is department name if you assume starting address as 100 interior occupies what four bytes so department number is interior it occupies four bytes department name is character of 20 so 104 to 124 okay would be the memory allocated for what department name this is the overall memory allocated for your department structure done now within the same example i'll create another structure data begin of what emp i'll declare some fields employee number type i okay employee name of 20 type c now what i want is in this EMP structure also, in this EMP structure also, I want the same two fields, department number and what department name. So what I can do, I'll just declare this once again here. Okay, I'm declaring, I can declare, okay. Then let me declare another field here, employee designation of something 25 type C. Employee designation of 25 type C. Then I'll say what end of what EMP. So I created what two different structures, department structure and what EMP structure. So when I do syntax check, I don't have any errors. So what you have to understand here is in the EMP structure also, again I declare the same fields what department number and department name. It is allowing that, not an issue. But instead of doing like this, instead of redeclaring the fields once again, here in this case. Uh, we have only two fields I'm declaring but assume that here I'm having some 10 fields okay I want to use the same 10 fields in the EMP structure I can declare those 10 fields once again but since of declaring the same fields again and again what I can do is instead of saying like this okay let me come let me comment it or okay instead of redeclaring the fields what I'll do what is my agenda here in the EMP structure also I want what same fields department number and what department name so instead of redeclaring them once again okay I can include them how do we include see here here I'll say what include structure okay include structure okay include structure what is the existing structure name here department 
okay so what is the keyword i am using here include structure department let me say comma but i am getting some syntax error okay let me check what is the error okay include structure is a keyword here so when i do syntax check yeah i got an error unable to interpret what structure unable to interpret structure possible causes of error incorrect spelling or comma error so this include structure is a what it is a what a new statement so before we start a start using the new statement we have to close the previous statement now. so what i have to do is i need to close this uh, previous statement how do you close it just you have to give what period understood so i'm giving the period there then i'm saying include structure department once this is completed once the statement is completed you close that statement by using what period that is dot then i need to close my main structure in the emp so since i have ended the previous statement again here you need to start with what data keyword again i need to start with what data keyword employee designation of 20 so i make clear so what i repeat once again include structure is a keyword used for including a structure inside what another structure as of now what i am doing i am including the local structure i am including the local structure local structure means what a structure which is available within the same object within the same program but i have the option to include the global structure also so whenever i say include structure what happens what i am saying here department na sap will check whether this structure is available in the current program yes it is available it will include that okay suppose i'll say include structure department 10 so what happens now it will check whether this structure is available in the local program if it is not available in the local program it will check whether it is available in the database okay so at this stage we don't know how to interact with the database if it is there in the database fine it will include if it is not there in the database also obviously it will give what syntax error so what i am trying to say is by using include structure i can include either the local structure or global structure what do you mean by local structure a structure declared within the same program global structure means which is available in the database it can be accessed anywhere but at this stage we don't know how to create the structures in the database so now when i do syntax check see here what is happening i am getting an error the field department 10 is what unknown means it is not available locally it is not available globally when i say globally in the database that's why it is giving me what syntax error understood so let me just close this include such a department am i clear so what this include structure will do it will include all the fields of the included structure in the current structure include structure will include all the fields of the included structure in the current structure so what happens here yeah what happens here already i declared the department structure now within the same program i am trying to create what one more structure what is that emp structure what is the first field here employee number okay the first field is employee number next it is what employee name and then you are saying what include structure department so what are the fields are there in the department structure will be included as it is in the current structure that is in the emp structure then what is the other last field here employee designation so here what are the field names now the first field is employee number this is employee name and this is what department number and this is department name and this is employee designation again if you assume starting address as 200 employee number is integer so it occupies four bytes employee name i declared as character of 20 so 2042 224 then you are including what department structure what is the first field in the department structure department name number which is integer so it occupies what four bytes so 224 to 228 then again department name of 20 type c 228 228 to 248 then again employee designation of 25 type c so 248 to something 273 would be what 
employee designation this is the overall memory allocated for what EMP structure so what is the advantage of this one here instead of redeclaring the fields once again if you are interested to include if you are interested to include all the fields of an existing structure inside another structure I can do it in only one statement by using what include structure assume that department structure has got 10 fields for example assume department structure has got 10 fields out of 10 fields I want to use only 8 fields in the EMP structure so at that time we need to declare that 8 fields once again I cannot say include structure when do we go for include structure when we are sure to use all the fields of an existing structure then only we have to include that include the old structure and this included structure can be either local or what global and whenever we include the fields of the included structure becomes part of what current structure so when I say becomes part of current structure means how do we access now see I'll say EMPF and employee number equal to something 5 then what EMPF and employee name equal to I'll say some value then EMP hyphen yeah EMP hyphen you are included the department structure now, which has got what two fields department number and what department name so they become part of what EMP okay they become part of EMP so here I can directly access okay I'll give some value EMP hyphen department name equal to something and then what EMP hyphen employee designation equal to what manager okay let me just print it employee number then EMP hyphen EMP hyphen what employee name then again EMP hyphen department number EMP hyphen department name and next EMP hyphen what employee designation so when I execute this then I got the data employee number employee name department number department name and what location so here the output is not important we are trying to understand the reusability reusability means instead of declaring the fields once again I can include the existing structure in the other structure and that existing structure can be a local or what global right so any questions here Okay, so this is your uh, what? This is your including the structure. One second, please. Okay. So this is about the included structures so we understood uh, how to declare the structure how to declare by using what data begin and what end of syntax okay there is another way of declaring the structure which is a recommended way okay so yesterday what you have done we are declaring the structure something like this data begin of structure name field one field to n number of fields okay and we have seen how to copy the data within two structures we understood the limitation of using what move corresponding and just now we have seen nested structure and what including the structures okay now let us see standard syntax for declaring what structure okay so far we are using data begin of and end of okay now the recommended way are in most of the projects the structure I mean to say structure is also called as what work area okay it is declared by using this syntax what is the first step here create the types declaration with the required fields so let me do that so now onwards we will be following this syntax only standard syntax for declaring the structures done so what is that first step you have to do we need to create the types declaration with the required field so first of all what you have to do 
whenever you want to create a structure we should have an idea what fields you have to declare what data types you have to give what field names you have to give okay so based on that only we'll create the structure okay so what i'll do here i'll say types okay i'm using what keyword types keyword so far for declaring the variables or for declaring the structure i'm using what data keyword now i'm using what types keyword so types begin of okay begin of what is this type name type name i can give any name let me directly give emp but already we know uh, it is recommend we need to follow what coding standards just like parameter variable we are starting with what p underscore okay variables we are starting with v underscore similarly types declaration i will start with what ty underscore okay in some projects okay in some projects they may start with what t underscore again depends on project to project we need to check the manual related to coding standards and based on that we need to develop the code so i'll say types begin off i'll go for a ty underscore any meaningful name so since i want employee fields i'll give the type name is a ty underscore emp let me declare the fields employee number type i then what employee name of 20 type c then i'll declare another field employee designation of employee designation of something 15 type what c type c and i'll close this end of what type name what is the type name i gave ty underscore emp done so if you instead of declaring by using types keyword if i use data keyword what happens memory will be allocated and all these structure fields are stored one after the other that is if you are using what data keyword data keyword will allocate the memory but types keyword will not allocate any memory okay types keyword it just defines this particular data type so types keyword is used for creating user defined data type okay so far we are working with what standard data types integer character string all those things comes under what standard data types similarly if you want to create your own data type user defined data type we use what keyword types keyword so by using this types keyword i created a user defined data type what is the name of the ty underscore emp which can accommodate how many fields three fields done and this types keyword will only provide the template types keyword will only provide the template it doesn't allocate any memory it doesn't allocate any memory so if the memory is not allocated i cannot store the data na. so how do we check whether the memory is allocated or not now what i'll do assume this is declared by using data keyword okay if you declare by using data keyword i can directly access na. so i'll try to say here ty underscore emp iphone what is the field name employee number equal to i'll say something one this is very much valid if you declare the same thing by using what data keyword so if i declare by using data keyword it is considered as what structure and how do we access the structure fields by using what structure name iphone field name so when i do syntax check right i don't have any errors because the memory is allocated i can assign the data but i'll declare this by using what types keyword types keyword will only provide the template will only tell you what are the field names what is the sequence of the fields what is the data type of the field so when i do syntax check right i am getting an error now what is that the field ty underscore emp iphone employee number is unknown okay the field ty underscore emp iphone employee number is unknown so i cannot assign the data because memory will not be allocated so this is this is going to give me what syntax error okay it is giving me what syntax error so how do we access those types declaration now this i am calling it as what types declaration nothing but a structure anything which is a collection of fields is nothing but what structure but in this case memory is not allocated because we are declaring by using what types keyword so how do we make use of this structure now how do we make use of this types declaration we need to create instance of this template we need to create a variable based on this particular types declaration how do we do it now 
I'll use what data keyword okay data keyword I need to give the structure name so I'll give the structure name as something what uh, generally you'll structure is nothing but what work area you'll start the work area with what WE okay also data WE underscore EMP one some name any name I can give simply I can say XYZ also doesn't matter but in general the structures the work areas you will start with what keyword WA in some projects they may start with LS to indicate that is a local structure in some project they may start with what GS to indicate that is a global structure okay so according to the project coding standards we have to use the appropriate naming convention so I'll go for what WA WA underscore some meaningful name EMP1 type type what is the type name now TY underscore EMP so I'll also type TY underscore EMP now the memory is allocated because I'm using what keyword data keyword okay so this will only provide the template it only provides a structure based on the template we are instantiating means I'm creating a variable now now the memory is allocated how much memory is allocated depends on the fields in your types declaration so employee number is 4 byte this is 20 byte this is 15 bytes all the fields are stored one after the other so once you declare the structure I can start accessing that employee number is equal to something then w underscore emp1 if an employee name equal to something Raju w underscore emp1 if an employee designation equal to something okay done understood then let me print it right for our understanding I'll just give a string here w underscore emp1 structure whatever you give in single quotes will be displayed as it is okay let me print the fields how do we access the fields w underscore emp1 hyphen employee number w underscore emp1 hyphen employee name okay w underscore emp1 hyphen employee designation so save it check for the syntax done when I execute yes I got the data so this is a standard way for declaring the structure what is the standard way you create the types declaration with the required fields create the types declaration with the required fields based on the types declaration based on the template you can create any number of work areas I mean to say structures okay this is one structure now similarly I'll create another structure data w underscore emp2 type what ty underscore emp means based on the same template based on the same types declaration I can create n number of work areas so I'm trying to create one more work area so let me just print it now so as of now you'll have a default values okay so let me just say you line underline right I'm creating one more work area structure based on your type declaration okay so here I'll just print it EMP2 iPhone employee number employee name as of now not assigned any data so obviously you'll get what default values zeros and what spaces so what I'm trying to show is once a template is available I can create what any number of instances I mean to say I can create any number of work areas variables now I'll say already we know this what is that W underscore EMP2 I'm assigning W underscore EMP1 Okay, let me print it now w underscore emp2 structure after assigning what w underscore emp1 some message let me print it now so when I execute both are what similar both are created based on what same types declaration so the number of fields the sequence of fields the data type of the fields everything is what same so when I execute I'll get the data six Raju and what director <coughs> okay so now onwards I'll create the structure like this because this is a recommended way for creating structure in most of the projects okay still in many projects in many projects still people are using this syntax also fine no problem project to project we have to check the syntax we have to check the guidelines and we have to declare them but this is a recommended way once you create the template based on the template I can create any number of instances I mean to say any number of variables any number of structures okay any questions please ask me
Any questions? Done. <clears throat> okay, so we understood the basic concept related to what uh, structures. So I, rep I summarize everything. When do we go for structures? Whenever you want to store some interrelated data, okay, we'll go for what structures. That is, whenever you want to store a record kind of information, we'll go for what structures, okay like employee data, customer data, vendor data, material data. So all this data would be what? Interrelated. All this data will be interrelated. Okay. So in those cases, we'll go for what? Structures. And we have seen how to copy the data between what? Two structures. Okay. By, that is by using assignment operator and by using what? move statement and we understood that both assignment operator and move statement is what same and we have seen move corresponding also okay move corresponding what it uh, i can use assignment and move statement only when the corresponding data types between the two structures are what same if one of the data type is not matching it will give what syntax error and move corresponding we understood what it will do move corresponding will check for what matching field names it doesn't check for what data type it doesn't check for any sequence and we understood the limitation of what move corresponding what is the limitation it will decrease the performance why it will decrease the performance when you're copying the data between two structures what happens internally each field of the source structure will be compared with what all the fields of what target structure okay this comparison will be what time consuming okay this comparison will be time consuming so obviously it will degrade the performance what is the other limitation of move corresponding when you are using move corresponding it only checks for what matching field names it doesn't check for the data types of those fields so if the data types are not type compatible it may lead to what runtime error so every time it will not lead to runtime error. Whenever the data types are not type compatible, it will lead to what? Runtime error. That is the reason it is recommended to minimize the usage of what? Move corresponding. And today we have seen nested structure, declaring the structure inside another structure. Okay. So in that case, what is the focus? How do we access the inner structure fields? We need to refer outer structure hyphen, inner structure hyphen, field name. And we have seen including the structures. How do we include one structure inside what? Another structure. Okay. That is done by using what keyword? Include structure. By using that include structure keyword, I can include a local structure or a global structure. Local structure means a structure which is declared in the current object, current program. Global structure means which is available in the uh, database. What is the default behavior? First, it will check whether the included structure is available in the locally, locally within the program. If it is not available within the program, it checks whether that is available in the database. If it is not available in the database also, it will give what syntax error. Then we have seen the standard way of declaring the structure. What is the standard way? First, we need to create the types declaration with the required fields. Types declaration allows us to create what our own data type user defined data type it only provides a template of the fields doesn't allocate any memory so once a template is available i can create any number of instances any number of variables based on that particular types declaration okay so, and we have seen how to declare and how to access the fields right now let us go to another small concept field symbols right so just try to understand how do we declare the normal variables if you want to declare integer character or any other data type we'll use what keyword data keyword okay so let me say data x type i how do we initialize it 
by using the keyword what value value i'll give something what 10 so i'm declaring the variable as well as initializing the variable then i'll declare one special variable called as field symbol variable how do we declare the field symbol variable we have to use the keyword what field symbols okay i'll give the field symbol name as abc okay so what is the field symbol variable name i am giving abc this is my normal integer variable this is my field symbol variable let me check whether i'll get any syntax error when i do syntax check yes i got an error field symbol names must begin with less than and end with what greater than okay so if you declare like this it seems that this is not valid so this is giving me what syntax error okay so how do you declare now it seems that you have to start with what less than and end with what greater than so what is the meaning field symbol variable is always enclosed in what angular brackets done now let me try to print the value of x and y so i'll say for your information i'll say x is what is the variable name x or generally how do you declare the variables v underscore v underscore so let me follow that standard okay so v underscore x is v underscore x done and in the next line i'll try to print the field symbol variable also what is that abc single quotes abc is okay abc is what is the variable name abc so in case of field symbol i have not assigned any data so far so when i do syntax check i don't have any errors when i execute yes v underscore x is what is the initial value i gave 10 abc is having nothing as of now nothing is there in the abc so you can observe this while declaring the field symbol variable did i mention any data type no so a field symbol variable is capable of storing any kind of data it can store integer character date whatever it is i can store any kind of data so how do we store here now i want to store x value inside what abc so generally how do we assign a variable to another variable you will say what something like this you will say something like this understood we are assigning x to what abc understood this is the way you assign the one variable to another variable let me check what happens here save check it i don't have any syntax errors i'll activate this okay let me try to execute when i try to execute i got a runtime error what is the runtime error assignment error assignment error field symbol abc was to assign a new value but this field is at least partly protected against changes so if you scroll down what is the line which is leading to runtime error the screen is called as what runtime error so if you scroll down yeah this is the 10th line where it is where it is leading to what runtime error so what you have to understand is whenever you are assigning a variable to the field symbol we should not use assignment operator so if i use like this what is that i am getting runtime error understand when you are practicing you uncomment and practice then only you will get the runtime error okay so what you have to do we have to use what keyword assign keyword i'll say assign v underscore x to what is the field symbol variable name abc let me print it now i'll reprint it again done so i got i assigned that i assign is a keyword you have to use when i execute yes i got v underscore x as 10 abc is also what 10 so once we assign a variable to the field symbol this is called as referenced variable once we assign a variable to the field symbol we call this as a referenced variable once we assign a link will be established between these two variables a link will be established between this referenced variable and what field symbol variable so once a link is maintained any changes made to the data of one variable will automatically reflect to what other variable suppose now i'll say v underscore x equal to 20 i'm just changing the value of what x i'm not changing the value of abc what is the previous value assigned to abc earlier 10 we are assigning x when x was 10 i assigned that now i'm changing that x value let me check whether it will reflect both or not i'm not reassigning once you assign 
a link will be established so when i execute now see when i execute done what i got v underscore x is 20 abc is also what 20 let me do reverse i'll say abc is equal to 30 let me print it now i'm changing field symbol variable okay so when i execute this done i got what 30 and what 30 so what is the understanding once we assign a variable to the field symbol a link will be established between that variable uh, the reference variable and not field symbol so that any changes made to the data of one variable will automatically reflect what other variable and at, i already told a field symbol is capable of storing what any data as of now what value we have assigned integer na? now within the same context within the same program let me declare one character here or let me declare one string i'll say v underscore str type string i'll say value uh, gens of technologies okay so this time i will assign the v underscore str value how do we assign assign v underscore str to same field symbol understood while declaring field symbol i have not assigned i should not specify any data type it is capable of storing any kind of what data so i'm assigning now let me print it now so the link is established between what now str and abc means the link is broken between x and abc now it will point to what str now let me try to print all these three values v underscore xl print i'll also print what uh, uh, string also what is this v underscore str is v underscore str okay let me execute now yeah what happened x remains 30 what is the last value of x 30 abc is what now gens of technologies str is obviously what gens of technologies means into the same field symbol variable i am able to store a variable of different data type initially i have assigned integer now i am assigning what string understood so the link is broken between the earlier two variables now the link is established between str and what abc now i'll change the value of str i'll say v underscore str is equal to i'll say something gens of systems okay let me say u line right so i'm changing the value of str now i'll reprint all the three now what happened now x remains 30 x remains 30 abc is changed to gens of system str is changed to a gens of system okay so this is one of the purpose of field symbol okay going forward we'll be using this field symbol in many places so what is a field symbol it is a special data structure it is a special variable which is capable of storing any kind of data a field symbol variable must always be enclosed in what angular brackets and it is declared by using what keyword field symbols keyword whenever you want to assign a variable value to the field symbol we must use what assign keyword once a variable is assigned to the field symbol a pointer link will be established between the variable and what field symbol so any changes made to either of the variables will reflect what both the variable values understood so this is the points these are some of the basic points related to what field symbols we will be using this field symbol in different ways going forward this is only the basic syntax any questions please ask done so we are done with the structures and all the basic things tomorrow onwards uh, we will be starting we will be starting either with internal tables or with dictionary objects okay i will be starting with either of these two topics either internal tables or dictionary structures i will decide that tomorrow only. okay right internal tables or dictionary objects i'll start from tomorrow onwards. any questions for today
okay so chadadan shall wind off we'll continue tomorrow okay